Good morning, lovely people. It's about 10 a.m. I'm eating my breakfast. These cereal are literally one of my favorites. They remind me of my childhood. So happy. So whilst I was eating, I thought I will start the video. Excuse the mess, we're going to fix myself up in this fit. But today is a fun day because not only is my day off, but today is the day I'm going to go back to the gym for the first time since the gym's closed. I'm super excited. The gym's opened up last Saturday and I thought I would take you guys along since it is going to be my first session. Yeah, so, so I just took out my braids. I have not washed my hair since last friday i don't think so and it's been in braid since saturday so it's been like five days i was also thinking would you guys want like a morning routine let me know in the comments below what you think though okay so i am back just had my shower i feel like these transitions are too much what do we think oh we're so dark oh so this is what I decided to wear to the gym today. It's going to be this two-piece. I am going to put a top on. But yeah, I am feeling myself just a tad. And I haven't been to the gym for a long, long time. So I kind of want to dress up for myself. And I feel like today is going to be more feeling out the whole area. My gym and the journey to gym and how it feels. <laughs> Okay, so one, I've started to just rewatch the Back to the Future movie. I've also just wrote down my two-day today to-do list, just to kind of help me throughout my day. So I wrote down my workout that I'm going to do, and I think I want to do lower body. So I'm going to basically start off with like seven minutes of like a little walk up the stairs machine, and then I'm going to use an abductor, leg press, and quad machine and also do a little bit of leg curls if it's possible depending how busy it is and afterwards i'm making a mac and cheese and then updating my cv so nothing nothing too crazy yeah so let's go to the gym guys so i'm about to go to the gym Ooh. So my gym has this tracker on it that tells you the cap capacity of the place and how many people are in there. So at the moment it's in the green zone. I'm going to quickly go Sainsbury's to get some water though. Oh my god, people. got to the gym there's like not that many people so this is really good i was really anxious
home now and I am making food. Let me just show you. So all my food is cooking right now. I'm basically making mac and cheese. The base that you're seeing there is the mac and cheese sauce. I'm making the sauce. I'm basically boiling milk with garlic, onions and butter. <laughs> I was also craving broccoli so I'm also making broccoli and pasta as well. So I quickly wanted to talk about my experience at going to the gym for the first time in like four months. It was actually nice. The actual gym itself, there were very less people. I felt really awkward at the beginning to film because I've never actually filmed the camera. Last time you saw a workout from me was with my iPhone 6s Plus. So the fact that we have like a camera right now going on, yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. Today was literally just a session just to kind of get used to the the uni. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Today was just a session, third time lucky, just to kind of get to know the gym again and kind of see how it looks like post um post lockdown, I guess. And yeah, I think the actual gym is really really good, really nice. They've got hand sanitizers everywhere. Are <laughs> you so you basically now sanitize every time you use the machine. So obviously when you sweat, you go into the station and you clean it up and everything. You saw me doing that as well at the end of the video, the workout. I also ended up going to Sainsbury's for a little bit. And I'm basically craving a macaroni and cheese. So that's literally what I'm going, what I am now making now. And I put loads of, um... I bought loads of uh, full fat cheese. I've got basically I'm craving something really really bad and I think when you're craving stuff you shouldn't completely like disconnect yourself because sometimes you could be eating like I've been eating quite clean and quite good for the last couple of weeks and I'm craving this full fat cheesy macaroni and cheese so I'm gonna make it I'm not gonna deny my body of it because I don't always eat bad and I think that's the best thing about not dieting, but kind of trusting your body and listening to it. A couple of things that really freaked me out while I was in town was people were not really wearing their mask. Like people who work at the shop, they would have the mask like underneath their nose, like pointless. They would just not have it on. So there's a lot of people, like people, people also were like wearing the mask on their nose and like not having it at all. And I get it, Westgate is like a shopping center. It's technically outside. But there's like hundreds, not even, maybe thousands of people in the Westgate walking around. And there was definitely not, there was like no two meter distance. Definitely not even one meter. People were all cramped in. And the fact they were all cramped in and still not wearing face masks or properly wearing them was really making me feel uneasy. So that's the only thing I would consider looking into when going again. I know by just going to Westgate that late evenings do not have a lot of people in town and also early mornings like before 9 a.m. <gasps> After my workout, I basically feel myself using every single hand sanitizer at my gym and then I was going to rate it each hand sanitizer with the sound. That was literally my big brain idea today. That's my accomplishment was that and then I just put it into TikTok and unfortunately the videos isn't long enough. They should have been about five to seven seconds long but each video is about three to five seconds long so meh it's fine we'll see. <laughs> so it's really late now. I'm not too exactly how late it is. It is now 11 p.m. It is so late. I'm falling asleep but I've actually just finished my CV and I have also submitted my application for, for the job that I was making the CV for. I may be obsessed with TikTok just a little bit too much, but also I don't care. I think it's a brilliant idea and big tops of the girl that basically showed it off that I saw last week and I decided to apply it to my CV. Basically, you have the CV, right? And at the end here, I've got this little... <laughs> Spotify QR. Basically, let me show you. But yeah, if you go on to the um, photograph, that's so close. Hi. And then you scan it. Basically, I've lost it. 
But at this point, you know what? Every time I speak to recruiters, every time I speak to people, they always say, more creative, more creative. Now, let me just show you my CV before. Like, this was my CV before, very plain. I think this looks so much better. Anyway, because it's so late and I am so tired, I want to say goodnight to you guys. Thank you for watching today's video. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know that you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Stay kind, stay humble, and always choose to do you.